Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Taurus. Taurus, while I was pre-shuffling, I heard um I heard the word, oh gosh, what was the word? <laughs> I heard a specific word. Anxious. That's the word that I heard. So someone is like feeling anxious to talk to you, get to know you you know, interact with you. Someone could be nervous as well is what I'm feeling. Okay. I'm feeling like it's coming from this person because I always pre-shuffle and like I pray over my cards. I meditate before I press record. And so that's what I was getting. Like someone is anxious. Okay. Feeling nervous about you. Divine spirit, Holy spirit. What's going on with Taurus and their love life for this week? Look at that. King of Cups and Lovers. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Yes. I hardly ever show you the cards while I'm shuffling. But yeah, it could be a Gemini who you're dealing with, with the Lovers or a Water Sign. Yeah. With the King of Cups. What's going on? Because I'm feeling it. This person is like ready to talk, ready to say something. What's going on with this energy for Taurus and their love life? Show me. We have the two of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. We have the judgment. And we have the will of fortune. Yeah. Someone is definitely trying to figure out how they can come back around because they see a future with you. They're trying to make a final judgment call. They want to hear from you. Yeah. Six of swords. They're approaching you slowly. This person is coming in. Yeah, let's get right into it. What's this two of pentacles for Taurus? Six of cups. Could be a past life soulmate connection that this person is feeling. I feel like this person is wondering if you feel the same way. That's why the two of pentacles is here. Yeah, seven of swords. Uh-huh. <laughs> that king of cups. Yeah. Woo! You have no idea... Well, you may know from the readings, but you have no idea how this person really feels about you. This is like seeing rainbows and sunshine when they think of you. What's the seven of swords? Because they're kind of sneaky here. Yeah, they're planning a move with this. <laughs> it's like trying to get your attention without trying to get your attention. Do you see what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Oh, okay. Y'all, who are y'all dealing with? What's this King of Cups? Nine of Cups. Yeah. They could love to drink or when they drink, they think think about you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You are what they desire. Nine of Cups. Yeah, it could be an Aries for some of you. This person... They want to take control, possibly in the bedroom. Like, <laughs> this person wants to take you. They want to have you, okay? That's what I feel with that emperor. And it's that energy that you got, I think, last week. Like, so, someone is very crafty. Like, this person, they know how to control their emotions very well. They know how to control it. Oh, okay. What's this judgment? Show me judgment for Taurus. The king of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All the cards want to come out. The four of pentacles. And the world. Yeah. Normally with the four of pentacles, I get restriction, holding back. But with this four of pentacles, I feel like this person is not letting go of the thought of being with you, king of pentacles, wanting that relationship with you. The king of pentacles always stands for, for me, loyalty and someone who wants to be in a relationship with someone, someone um, who wants to be stable with another person. Okay. So they want to start some new cycle here. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, Clarity, Truth coming in. Five of Cups. Yeah, they feel sad here. What is the sadness? Page of Swords. Okay, so it's like they watch you and then they, they feel sad when they watch you. Page of Swords. When they're spying. 
Because they miss you. Five of Pentacles. Okay. I was like, why? They miss you. Mm, so you you must know who this person is. You When I started this reading, you must know exactly who this person is. Very masculine energy with the Emperor and the King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Very masculine energy coming through. Okay, male or female. Very masculine energy. Yeah. This person, they get sad when they, when they spy or when they watch you. They get sad. Show me more about this energy right here. Yeah, the moon. They, this person has a lot of deep emotions here. Cancerian energy. Pisces energy could be dealing with those signs. High priestess. They keep it all to themselves. The moon, the high priestess, all of this secrecy. This person, it's almost like they don't share anything with anyone. Oh my goodness. They don't tell, they may not even tell their friends how they feel about you. This is a person who lives in a lot of secrecy. The moon, the high priestess. They're very mysterious. Yeah, they're a hermit. This is a hermit. They've learned how to... It, I don't know if they don't trust people. This person, it's like they don't... They don't share anything with people. Very secretive person. Yes, could be a Virgo. But this is showing me secret, 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 secret. Secrecy. This person lives a life of secrecy. So this tells me right here that this person, they could... They could, you know, be an emperor in front of other people and like be very admired or people like what they do for work or this person may have a high status or position. But when it comes to their emotional life, they guard it with everything in them. They don't let people know what's going on in their personal life. They don't. They are very guarded when it comes to their emotions probably because they are an extremely sensitive person. This person feels very sensitive to me. What's this will of fortune for Taurus? The devil energy could be a Capricorn. Lots of major arcanas coming out. Yeah, this is a big deal for this person. Three of cups. They're obsessing over reconciliation here for the future. Will of fortune with the devil, the three of cups. Let me get one more. And the Ace of Cups, yeah. All they can think about is getting getting with you, reconciling with you, working it out with you. You are this person's motivation. You drive this person. How do they feel specifically? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Cream of the Crop. Five of Swords. Uh-huh. And the Full Energy. They they will fight for you. This is a person who will fight to have a long-term relationship with you. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the full energy, willing to take that leap of faith. And it's like, I don't care if I look like a fool. I want to be with Taurus. How's this person feeling about Taurus? Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, whoa. They're willing to give you everything. Knight of Wands, extremely passionate about you. This person is like crazy about you. <laughs> Yo. Woo. They may feel like you have your guard up, but they're coming in to heal it with you. Aquarius energy, Leo is here as well with the strength. Woo. Mmm. How is Taurus feeling about this person? Ten of Swords. Whoa. Three of Swords. The Tower. Kaboom. Oh my gosh. Queen of Wands. This is your energy. Are you mad at this person? That's why I say you know who this person is. And if you don't, then this reading is not for you. Y'all know the Tauruses that I'm talking to in this reading, you know exactly who this person is and you feel hurt or betrayed by them. A breakup happened. 
you can't get the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Tower, and nothing has happened. You're mad at this person, or you're blaming them for something here. You're hurting, you're mad, you're angry. The Queen of Wands can represent anger, fire, okay? Being angry with someone. Something could have happened here with a long-term relationship. The Four of Cups with the Harfont. Did they reject your offer in the past? Or maybe they weren't ready for a commitment in the past? Or you felt ignored by this person? You Ooh, that Queen of Wands. I'm feeling anger from this Queen of Wands. For how you're feeling on your side. What what happened? What happened in the past between these two? What happened? Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. Somebody just got tired of fighting <clears throat> over a home, over a relationship, four of wands. Nine of Wands, five of Wands, four of Wands. That could show me someone got tired of trying to make this person be faithful, loyal, or be in a relationship. Maybe you got tired of feeling like an option. I feel like there was a lot of fighting or arguing with this person. But that doesn't mean that they don't they don't love you or they're they're over you cuz they're not. I feel like this person has just buried their emotions for you. For whatever happened, it'll be different for all of you. For whatever happened, I do see you are angry and you are hurting. Yeah, potential outcome for this week between Taurus and this person. Eight of Swords. A lot of thinking about it. Eight of Cups. Being a bit distant from each other. And the Justice card. So it's like the two of you are still giving each other space. And you may feel like that's the right thing to do for now. But the both of you are stuck thinking about each other just in different ways. You could be stuck thinking about the hurt. They're stuck thinking about how much they love you and want to reconcile with you. Lovers, Gemini's energy is here. It could be also dealing with a Libra for some of you. Yeah, both of you at a distance. Three of Wands waiting Two of Swords wondering if the love is still there. The two of you, you don't know. Wow. I feel like there's a lot to unpack here. And that... Whew. This is one of those readings that I feel can go on for a very long time. But of course I won't keep you. But let me pull from the Kipper deck just to get some more clarity. Show me, Spirit, what's going on in this connection thoughts yeah the two of you it's like you you are stuck thinking about each other that's what i just said for the potential outcome wealthy man and message of concern yeah maybe someone wants to tell you like hey you know i'm more stable now you know i didn't feel stable in the past you know, or I didn't have a home to give you. I didn't, I didn't have anything to offer you. And this is, you may get a message from this person. Okay. Or they're thinking of how they can message you and tell you maybe they're good news <clears throat> for some of you. What's going on in this connection? Yeah. Great fortune. Great fortune is here. And message again, I, t I tell you, Taurus, someone wants to let you know that they've come into money or they, they just have gotten more stable, period. <clears throat> and <clears throat> maybe they felt very insecure in the past. And that could have been something that broke the two of you up. That this person was struggling with a lot of insecurities. Okay? Let me take a sip, you guys. <clears throat> Something has changed about this person. And you may not know that though. You may not know it because you may not have heard from them. 
What does this person want to say to Taurus? No kids, not ready to be a parent. I don't want kids, okay? So this could be a person that doesn't have any children, okay? Someone could have told you in the past that they, you know, like I'm not ready for a family or I'm not ready for that right now. And that could have been a source of stress as well. Okay, what else? I am confident. Yeah, I feel like this person is confident that the two of you can be together again. I'm toxic, not good for you. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to let you know I've changed. I feel like they dealt with some toxic energy and that could just be like, like I said, insecurities that this person had to get rid of. Look, I want to make love. The The passion is there. Okay. We, we already felt that. I'm not feeling my best. Sick fever. This person could be uh, going through some type of sniffles or just not feeling well, but I also feel mostly with the, I am not feeling my best. <clears throat> They get sad when they spy on you. Remember I said that? Whenever they look at you or they see anything about Taurus, okay? It could be on social media or maybe y'all have mutual friends, you know, or if they're still, you know, around your friends or around family members and they hear about you, this person starts to feel bad, okay? They start to feel weighed down, overwhelmed, because they miss you. One more. I am religious. Faith, prayer. Yeah, this person could be praying over this situation. Leaning on spirit. At the bottom of the deck. I miss you. I miss us. Sad without you. Can't sleep. I yearn for you. That's what I'm feeling. This person cannot sleep. They, they're sad without you. They're not feeling their best. Oh. I feel this person's energy and they could very well be praying that the two of you can work something out. <clears throat> Let's come to the letters deck. This could be a person, a place, or a thing. Okay. What letters are coming through for Taurus and this situation? Whoa, that was a lot. What letters are coming through? We have the letter B. We have the letter J. Come on. We have the letter F. We have the letter E. And we have the letter H. Okay, coming through. What is this person's sexual energy toward Taurus? Because there's a lot of passion here and they want to make love. So what is their sexual energy toward Taurus? Because this, I feel like it's borderline obsession, but I just feel like this person has buried all of that. Okay. Whoa. Look at what just shot out. Use your tongue and handcuffs and blindfolds. Woo. So they like it wet, wet kisses. They like to be licked. Okay. Handcuffed, blindfolded. Okay. Mm, they may want to do that to you. What is this person's sexual energy toward Taurus? Cuddle me after sex. Okay, so there's a bit of sweetness here. Who just got this energy? Someone just got these same cards. Somebody. Who did I just... It could have been uh, uh, maybe Aries. I like it fast and rough. Okay. Let's keep it spicy. Oh, and one more. One more. Okay, we pulled two more. I love your boobs. <laughs> and turn the lights off, please. So someone likes sex in the dark, okay? Oh, okay. Mm, somebody is a, a tit man, a tit woman. They like boobs, okay? Specifically yours. <laughs> okay, advice for... Taurus, we have perfect timing. So maybe it's something will happen in divine timing. Usually when you least expect, okay? Or this person could be waiting on the right time. Yeah, 
in perfect timing, something is going to happen where the two of you may be able to recover this, okay? It says no. <laughs> that no came out. Get more information. Yeah. You could be, I'm going to be honest, from the cards that I got on your side with feeling hurt or betrayed or, you know, something blew up here with the tower. You could be saying no, but spirit is saying, get more information. See, see what's going on with this person. Okay. Cause you may be thinking like they've moved on. They're not even thinking about you, but oh, on the contrary, honey, this person, it's like, you're all they can think about. And it's like, they're waiting for the perfect time to heal this with you. Okay. But you could be saying no at this moment, you know, but I feel like this person, they could be waiting for your guard to be dropped a little bit so they can come in the right way. But yeah, this person is definitely crazy about you and wanting to be with you. And they're not doing as well as you think without you. Alrighty, Taurus, take care. Bye.